What's going on, Reef Builders? I am Jake Adams. Welcome back to another video from the Reef Builder Studio. I hope you've enjoying the steady march of different video topics that we've been putting out here recently. And for this video, uh, kind of a fun little topic, you know, maybe a little bit of a holiday shopper style video. This video is made possible by Flipper, uh, an aquarium company that's been around for a long time. They make a lot of magnetic aquarium accessories. And uh, just to spice things up, I wanted to talk about some of the gadgets, gizmos, and doodads that really help to streamline the maintenance, the process, the workflow here at the Reef Builder Studio. Because uh, all together, man, they really save us a lot of time. If I had to do all these tanks in the conventional ways, it would take a lot longer. But um, without further ado, let's jump into it. I probably tiled this video a top 10. I don't know if this is exactly 10 products, but it's a little bit more than that. So um, let's just get it started. So here we have, I believe this is called a bucket saver. This is, I don't know, five, ten dollars from Uline. And you can see it's a nice, sturdy, but perforated base that I use as a protein skimmer stand. Um, I'm sure some of you guys have some sumps that are a little bit too deep for your protein skimmer to function optionally, and you've made wonky things with egg crate and PVC. But man, five dollars for a little pump saver. Uh, the bucket saver, there's no reason you can't stack them. They make them a little bit bigger, but most of all, they come in a bunch of different colors. So there's a nice little uh, aquarium hack for ya. Um, what is another one? Let's see, the Hanna Salinity Checker. Now this is a, the only one that is less of an accessory and more of a device, but it has become such a thoughtless process for me to test my salinity. And you think to yourself, all right, well, if you have just one tank and you know, grab a little dropper and look through your refractometer. I even have the digital tabletop refractometer, but simply placing this into a tank, wait three to five seconds, and I can do that you know, for several tanks, several in a row. Um, it's, it's just an awesome, awesome device to have. And compared to a refractometer or a digital refractometer, this has uh, a 0.1 resolution, so 0, 0.0 resolution. So it takes you to the 10th place, so you get a little bit more precision there. Now let's dive in to some of the brand new Flipper products. Um, the Deep Sea, is a really cool device. Um, they've been around maybe like a year or two, and it's part of a small uh, product category where you basically magnetize this onto your aquarium. This goes on the outside, this goes on the inside, and it gives you not just a magnified view, but this is really important, a binocular view. I know this is super under, hard probably to uh, express on video, um, but there's a small one, a medium one, and a large one, depending on the tank that you have, and you're able to, you don't have to wince, you know, to enjoy it. Let's see, how does that look? Is my eyeball looking all funky? probably. Um, this, obviously, you don't have to have it for your reef tank, but this is an awesome way to kind of get a good look at, um, it's, it, it's hard to express, just a, a little bit more magnified view. This is binocular, so you get to see it a, a certain things in your aquarium a little bit closer, a little bit larger. So we've got a deep sea nano here, the deep sea regular, I'm guessing and the Deep Sea Max. And uh, they're really fun. Maybe not as much for yourself when you're just chilling and looking at your reef tank, but maybe when like guests come over and they're asking about this and that and you wanna show them some particular characteristics of the corals. And more recently, uh, Flipper came out. They came out with these orange filters. So now you can really enjoy the uh, fluorescent colors coupled with a binocular magnified view using this small kind of uh, yellow orange filter add-on. It just kind of slips right in there, bada bing, bada boom, really cool. I tend to leave one on some of the tanks uh, periodically just as I'm observing them because I can see the coral a little bit better from further away. So that's a fun device. Let me take off the ones we've already talked about. Um, this is gonna be silly and you think it's 
dumb, maybe, but these dosing bottles are a godsend for manual dosing of aquarium additives. I've actually done this whole video as an article on Reef Builders, but I've seen too many people not using these particular products. So um, basically, you have one cap here, you fill it up, close it off, open up the other cap, and then you can very quickly, why well, is it not working? It's not enough water. You can very, <laughs> you can very quickly adjust how much water, and these are actually graded. Um, I use these mostly for like amino acids, liquid foods, certain trace elements that aren't like super duper critical. All right, what's next? Um, so Maxpect has been making some really great coral grabbers. I have a whole ginormous collection of various size tweezers with different tips. Um, this is a brand new one that they came out with, I think earlier this year, carbon fiber. This is cooler than it looks because you can get a pretty good tight grip on it and they went through a lot of trouble to make sure this thing floats. So when you let it go, it floats uh, you know, kind of neutrally and upright so you can grab it. It's never gonna fall into your tank. Very cool little accessory from Maxpect. And then right around along those lines, I just got these brand new grabbers. Now, if you have a deep tank or if you have short arms, um, these things are specifically made for aquarium use. They have a lot of tension. I mean, you can see how much it presses in my hand. Like these are really, really cool. And just like the tweezers I showed you before, it's got nice little silicone tips right here. So you can probably very delicately grab corals or, f or frags that have fallen deep down inside and get a good grip on them. Look at that. This is actually the first time I've grabbed something with them. And uh, you know, for larger rocks, it's got some teeth. And this looks like about a two foot model. And we've also got about a three foot model. And um, non, I have grabbers like this. I got a two pack from Costco two years ago and they just, they don't open up anymore. They're a little rusty. These obviously won't rust and you could actually spin them. Why is this? Yeah, yeah, you can spin them. Yeah, so like if you need to get a little slightly different angle. All right, enough about the grabbers and back to some max spec, or so some flipper stuff. Um, so this is, this is really brand new. I haven't used this yet, um, but this is the flipper flip kick. So we're gonna just crack this open right, right quickly. Comes a nice little handy carrying case and it comes with, this is important, comes with a yellow filter for when your tanks are just a little bit bluish, even if they're white, you know, your, your, your phone camera is really sensitive. So we've got a yellow filter. And then it also comes with an orange filter. So this is the main assembly, just like everything else that Flipper does, it's magnetic. So I've gone ahead and I already set one up on my particular phone. This is an iPhone 11. And you'll know that some of the higher end aquarium phones, they've started clustering lens all over here. So you don't have to have this on your phone all the time. And that, you know, I might start end up using this a lot more because um, I'm always like going around and have clamps in my pocket and I'll just clamp it on. But with this, just kind of magnetize it on, flip it over. And the cool part is it covers both the regular and the wide angle lens. Um, and then if you have one of the nicer, proer type of phones with a third telephoto lens, I think it'll probably just cover that too. And then you can easily screw this off and put on your yellow filter. So um, this is a must have for aquarium photography, for camera, for, for for smartphone camera photography. And it's pretty cool because you can have just a little metal plate in your pocket, whip it out, pop it on, and off you go. So this is the flip kick, kick flip, flip kick. Yeah, flip kick, iPhone filter. It's also a kickstand, but that's not what we, really what we're here for. All right, what else do we have? Um, this is a titrator. If you test water more than three parameters a month, like one session. This will save your freaking life as far as time. So this is about $50, got it off Amazon. This is a adjustable volume. So you can set it for between 10 and one mLs. And um, so for some common test kits, you'll wanna do five mLs. 
Um, but you can't just get just this, you need to get some regular tips. So you, you can't, you don't want to ever bring salt water or any contaminating fluid into this. Basically you press it once and then uh, it, as you let go, it will draw in the exact amount of fluid that you need. I use this to test calcium, alkaline, magnesium on four systems in about 20 minutes because so much of the testing is just, it's just filling up that vial. Like how many times have you filled up that vial and you know, you, you got a little bit too much and you poured it out, you filled up that vial, got a little too much, poured it out. So this is a lifesaver especially for a fish store, if you're a professional, if you're a service guy, um, because this is more accurate than eyeballing the line in your test vial. So um, 50 bucks. And what I do is for the HANA calcium test, there's one little aspect where you can use uh, distilled water. So I just put like in a little blue strip around it um, to remember, remind myself that this is only for distilled water. This will save your freaking life. It's so freaking awesome man. Um, all right, we talked about the flippers. We talked about the deep sea. We talked about the orange. Um, all right, so before we finish it up, this is the Tire Karcher Squeegee Vac. It's about 70 bucks, so you know, it's, it's a, something of an investment, but it comes with this little spray thingy. It comes with the water, and you got your mop, and you wipe down everything on the aquarium, and you really sop up whatever salt residue particles are on there, and then you turn on the squeegee. And this is amazing, because as you're going around and cleaning up the tank, it sucks up all the water for you. And it, it's hard to describe and, and, and express to you how much time this saves. If you've spent any time cleaning aquariums and wiping down and then grabbing another towel and wiping down and throwing another towel and then wiping down, you always get smudges. You always have like a salt water residue and it sucks, man. It sucks so much. This will save your life. If you, if you, even if you have one tank, if it's, you know, four feet or five feet, it sucks off the salt water film and gives you the cl crystal clear tank that you're looking for. So especially if you have a clear glass aquarium, um, it's hard to express how much time this saves. Um, last but not least, probably the meat and potatoes of this video feature are the new flipper algae scraper magnets. Um, so the new ones float, but that doesn't mean I have anything against my old legacy ones because um, they've kind of been my go-to uh, scraper for a long time. Fun fact, my first video review ever was of the mag flip. Do you want to know how long ago that was? It was so long ago, I put it on Viddler. Viddler is a, is a video hosting service that went bust like five, six, eight years ago. So you can't even see that video anymore. So um, if you don't know about the flipper itself, basically it's a reversible magnet. So as you're scraping the tank, you can pull this out and if you flip this, you, this will flip on its own, okay? If you flip this, boom. So it takes a little bit of practice it's, to get it really, really right. But in order for this to work, um, Flipper had to make the internal magnet somewhat buoyant, not completely buoyant, so you can't retrieve it because that was patented for a long time, but now the patent is expired and now we have the max, the Flipper Max float. Um, this is a larger version. Um, I don't have the float of the, the Nano and the regular yet, but it's got a much bigger handle than before because before it was kind of a smaller, kind of shallow thing. Uh, so now you've got a much bigger handle so you can really get your scrub on. Same, same uh, flipping action. So if I twist this, it'll re 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 repel this and it'll underwater, it'll flip on its own. But now the entire thing floats. So if it should get disconnected, you should be able to retrieve it at the surface. Very, very cool. Um, so here's the other thing. It's important that you don't have a algae scraper magnet for your aquarium that is either much too small or much too large, right? So this is very much a Goldilocks situation where we use this on 10 to 20 gallon tanks. We use this on 40 to 75 gallon tanks and everything that's about 100 gallons or more, it's gonna have thicker glass, we use this because 
If I use this on a large tank, it's not gonna do anything. If I use this on a small tank, it's gonna grip way too hard and maybe like damage your tank and stand or whatever. Um, so, it's really important to size your algae scraper magnet appropriately. Now, a couple other little uh, minor accessories that are gonna be a little bit more niche is the new F Flipper Float Max. Max Flipper Float, I'm not really sure which way that goes. The new one has little Velcro tabs right here. These used to be like little spots, like just like a little plastic dimple or whatever, so that it would just kind of ride the glass. But Flipper has come out with, again, niche products, don't hate on them. This is kind of a tube feeder, right? So if you have a reclusive fish or eel or um, a new fish that isn't really kind of coming out, what you can do is you can put a little bit of food in there, close her up, there's some holes down at the bottom, and then you can carry it to your fish. You can bring it over. I think it, yeah, I think it, it's a lot better on this side. There you go. So this works with the others. So we've got the, whoop, we've got the Nano. That works also. And so basically, you know, kind of double dipping with your, the magnets that you already have. And right along those same lines, uh, an algae clip. Algae clip, everybody knows an algae clip, you know, you feed it to your tangs. But now instead of having an algae magnet inside your aquarium, don't ever put your fingers in there. I'm a trained professional, I know what I'm doing. So now instead of having a algae scraper in your aquarium and a separate magnetic algae clip, you can Velcro that on and you have a algae scraper, algae veggie clip all in one. So, all right. I hope you like this one take walkthrough of some uh, various aquarium accessories made possible by Flipper. Thank you so much, you guys, for uh, sponsoring this video. I really enjoy aquarium accessories. They really help to multiply the enjoyment of the reef aquarium hobby and general aquarium hobby. On their own, they're not gonna change your life. They're not gonna dramatically expand your horizons about your reef aquarium experience. But especially if you have a few tanks or you like cleaning your tanks or you're really kind of dabbling with them a lot, um, some of these accessories are definitely gonna make your life a little bit easier. So if you have any questions about these accessories, I'll see you guys down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like make sure to smash that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later guys.